Uh, let me ask you this to start off. When did you know you would be ready and enter your name into the NFL draft? Uh, well, it started, I think I started thinking about it about last year, just leaving next year and then COVID kind of came and then we got the rule back about you could come back uh, no matter who you are, a senior. So I, I had to think about it a little bit, uh, talk to my parents and through the year and throughout the year and I kind of made the decision that I was just going into the draft. How tempting was it to return to Blacksburg when the NCAA gave that flat waiver to all athletes? It was definitely tempting. Like that's my second home right there. Uh, I love Blacksburg. I love Virginia Tech. I love the program and everything about it. So it was definitely tempting, but it was just my time to move on. When you made the decision, was it one where when you went to bed that night, there was no second guessing yourself about it? Or when you woke up the next morning, you were still, I won't say on the fence, but it was more so 60, 40, 70, 30 type that you were going to leave? Uh, it was more, it was more like, I think I kind of made the decision that I was going to leave. And then once they gave that rule back, I started looking at just coming back and it was kind of in my head a little bit. And I was like, so I think it, it was really more like 80, 20, me leaving, but thinking about the possibility of coming back at the same time. What was the conversation like when you told Coach Fuente? Well, it was more so like he 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 obviously he wanted me to come back and be a part of it. And he tried to say some learning things to get me back. Uh, love Coach Rua, that's my man right there. But it was definitely a good conversation when I finally told him and made my decision. We had a couple talks that kind of led up to the final decision. Uh, so when I finally he was he just said, "You always know uh, we're always home, and if you decide not to go through, you can still come back." or whenever you want to, but we're always home and whatever you do, he, he said, you know, I'm with you. Did you get a chance to talk to, uh, to Bud Foster about it? Yeah, I talked to Bud throughout the year and then I talked to him right, right after the season and he thought it was a good idea. And he gave me advice on like what I need to work on and things like that and what he think uh, they would be looking for at the next level. You know, he's always kind of mentored me and helped me uh, talking with my parents also. So he's definitely been a big help. What was the biggest advice he gave you once you told him your decision? Uh, I think the biggest advice he gave me was just really just to be me and, and go out there and give it all I got, whatever I do. Uh, he actually had some people talk to me, just advice on the process of talking to scouts and things and how it was going to be the process of making this transition. So it was a lot of good advice. Obviously, you have a very close friend relationship, friendship, however you want to describe it, with Coach Foster. If he was still at Virginia Tech, would you have come back? Would I have come back? Uh, it, it definitely would have been even tempting a little bit more, but I think I would still have the same decision. Uh, I love him to death, but I think I definitely still would have had the same decision. What will an NFL team get when they select Rashard Ashby? They're going to get a dog. They're going to get somebody who's ready to work, uh, doesn't care about the outside noise, going to give it all he's got. Uh, I'm going to give everything everything to them. As long as they give me a fair chance, that's all I look for. So they're going to get someone who's ready to work. It's going to come in there today and give it all they got. Has scouts, you know, talked to, you know, former coaches down at Virginia Tech, talked to you personally about where they have, I know it's, you know, four months down the line, but have an idea of what day you could probably hear your name called? Uh, I think just talking kind of what I've been hearing is more third day to priority free agent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, obviously, you know, everybody here in our area will be waiting for April to see your name uh, get called by the commissioner or the uh, deputy commissioner. Um, reflect on your history, your time at LC Bird in this area and what you did as a member of the Skyhawks football team. And I guess how that will help you at the next level. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think just the, the type of mentality that going into Bird my eighth grade year that the players and the coaches had was a big help for me. Uh, I had that mentality, but just seeing them do it day in and day out, uh, work in the weight room, go in the field and, and do seven on sevens and one on ones every day and compete against anybody and don't care if it's the best of the best, who, whoever's out there, 
that just kind of helped me and like it clicked to me like all right you gotta go when you come here these, these so it's definitely been a, a great experience at bird uh i love bird uh i wanna man i can't wait to get back i know get back and see a couple people there but this it was a great experience you know one two two uh, state championships and even my eighth grade year i didn't win it but i was with them when they won it so it's just been a great experience uh, through the ups and the downs there that I had personally myself. So it's been a great experience meeting all the family I had there through the faculty, staff, throughout the school and, and the coaches and just the players that I played with. Man, it's been amazing. They always show love. Uh, the community in, in the Commonwealth of Virginia period is just always show love. And, and I appreciate everything that they, you know, all the love they show me and the belief that they have in me. You mentioned when a, if an NFL team picks you, they're going to get that dog. Um, and I know you've heard like the, I want to say the, I guess the critique, maybe about your size, maybe you know your height and things of that nature. This goes back to LC Bird. How did you use that as a positive as opposed to a negative? Yeah, basically, I mean, for me, I, I've been, I know when I was in middle, middle school and high school, I kind of, it got in my head a little bit. And then after a while, I just, knew that uh, my path was my path and and I'm blessed with the size I have now. So I kind of really don't even let that get to me. I, I just, I look forward to proving the people that believe in me that they were right more so. And as for the height, I mean, I've been playing with this height my whole life. So it's advantages to it. I know how to use my height in the game and, and, and on the field. So I definitely think it's a lot of advantages. Definitely. If I recall correctly, when you were in high school, you were at USA Today defensive player of the year is that is that close to right uh yeah. i think so for virginia yeah I, mean, you might, uh, I think so yeah you were three so. times or something like that uh, might only been once you would say today i'm not 100 sure on that though okay uh, I, I can't. but the accolades go go back to what you know what you've done mm, yeah. based, like you said using that to i guess as a chip on your shoulder uh before i let you go um I mean, you mentioned to me off before we started, you're in Nashville training. Um, what specifically will you be working on between now and the draft um, to get ready? And also, I guess, uh, to prepare yourself mentally for the virtual combine and, and interviews that you and the rest of the players will have in a couple of months. Yeah, uh, well, I'm working here in Nashville at this place called Boost Sports Performance with uh, the trainer named Jordan, and they really been getting us ready. Uh, we've been working on 40s, uh, 40s, all the drills, 40s, the L drill and the 5105, the shuttle. And then even we also have uh, skill position work. So I'm still getting that work and we lift. So I've been getting uh, all of it. Uh, we got interview training also, and I've been talking with uh, some guys that my my dad and my uncle know that has played in the league and things like that kind of get their feedback and how their process was going forward. So, I mean, I've been getting all around, just soaking all the knowledge I can in and, 